Well, elsewhere, calm has returned to Tichiman where election-related violence led to some deaths last week. District Police Commander Superintendent George Afari Yabwa in an exclusive interview with Joy News disclosed business activities are ongoing as usual. He also explained circumstances leading to the disturbances at the Tichiman South Coalition Center on Tuesday, saying contrary to earlier reports that three people died, there were only two deaths. Far from that. Maybe it is their own way of maybe trying to achieve whatever they wanted to achieve. There is no truth. If there is any, our records are there. If anybody is saying that somebody has been shot, somebody has been killed, somebody has been done anything, if the person fails to report, then it is his own problem. But on our records here, the dead during Tuesday's mess at the collation center were two and four people injured. I heard people saying that there are nine people, three dead and those things. That is what I have said. There is, we are yet to receive any information about that. Superintendent of Aria were assured that enough security measures have been put in place to ensure law and order and caution people who spread fake news. They will be dealt with according to the law. I will only entreat everybody who wishes to do business in Techima to come and do his business. If the person suspects or sees any suspicious character within his in another development, Paramount Chief of the Tichiman Traditional Area in the Bunu East region, Otiadiyo Ikumfi Ameyao, has condemned the shooting incident that led to the death of two people at Tichiman during the just ended 2020 general election. He observed that under no circumstance should innocent citizens be killed in the manner it occurred in Tichiman. Otiadiyo Ikumfi Ameyao consequently urged the leadership of the National Democratic Congress to appeal to its supporters to desist from violent acts that may derail the peace of Ghana. The paramount chief of the Tichiman traditional area made the call when the national executive of the NDC, led by its general secretary, John Singh Sidun Ketia, visited his palace at Tichiman. Nestor Kafri Ajoma reports. You condemn such shooting incident, you know. This is Tichiman Yabakosimunda. We condemn the shooting incident. It has never happened in our history. Now, an imbalance has been created. And to fix it, all stakeholders must be measured in their all transits. It is not about inciting the teaming youth on radio. Johnson, as Siedu and Ketia said, the NDC is only pushing for the right thing to be done. We have come to meet with security heads here in Techiman for an update on the shooting incident. Because if there is no peace after the election, the country will be ungovernable, irrespective of whoever wins. We will also meet with the Electoral Commission officials to iron out issues with them. On behalf of the National Democratic Congress and former President Mahama, I wish to express our condolences. 
the general secretary of the NDC later assured their supporters that the party is working hard to get candidate Christopher Basungti Bayere declared as the winner of the Techman South constituency parliamentary seat.